All right, fam, so we are back with another crazy video, okay? This, this one is wild. It, it's wild. Now, I got two clips I want to show y'all. I don't know if I want to make it two separate videos or if I want to make it one video. I'm going to make it one whole video, okay? Because the other clip has nothing to do with this clip, but I just wanted to show y'all this other clip because it's kind of, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of a good breakdown. But anyways, this is a crazy clip right here. So without further ado, man, uh... Yeah, this is gonna make some of y'all really, really mad. If, okay, if you are, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, this is gonna make you, it's gonna piss you off. I'm gonna be real. So without further ado, man, hit the like button, scratch on all post notifications. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's just go with tails. Would you like to kick or receive the Bible? I will receive. Tom wins the toss, chooses to receive the Bible. Patterson back with the kick. Oh my goodness! Whoa. Is that a touchback? Can you yeah, even get a touchback? First time in 18 years. Uh, yeah, let's just go with Taylor. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, it was a quick clip. It was a quick, quick clip. But I want to show y'all this because I just did a video about the church and how the church needs to do better. Okay, this is a prime example of how the church needs to do better what are we doing as followers of christ what are we doing with ourselves why are we trying to why are we trying to be so much like the world when we're supposed to be set apart and y'all i kid you not i know sometimes it can be really hard trying to you know trying to separate yourself from the world because you don't want people to dislike you you don't want people to talk about you you don't want i get it I understand I'm a human. I understand that we want everyone to like us. We want it, but when do we get to when do we get the idea of we don't care no more? Because they hated Jesus, they're gonna hate us too. Okay, but the fact that the church is trying to be so much like the world is just ridiculous. It's it's absolutely ridiculous, bro. You just kicked a holy Bible. Make it make sense. You just kicked a Bible. To what? Reinterpret, like, interpret it. I don't know. I don't even know what's the message, bro. But the fact you kicked the Bible, it don't even matter what the message is. It don't even matter what the context was. You kicked the Bible. You kicked the Bible. And people just think that this is all fun and games. Oh, it's okay. You're just doing too much. You're this, you're that. You're such an uptight Christian. No, I'm not an uptight Christian. But the problem with it is that people are not fearing the Lord enough. People are not fearing the Lord. We need to be set apart from the world. We do not need to bring the Super Bowl to the church, okay? If you want to bring the Super Bowl to the church, you could talk You could talk about the Super Bowl. You can, you know what I'm saying? You can make Bible reference to the Super Bowl, but kicking the Bible and trying to reinterpret it, the, the, the Super Bowl or whatever you're trying to do, that's unacceptable bro you know what i'm saying it's unacceptable unacceptable the fact that you just get the holy bible on the stage nobody's walking out nobody's doing anything and people just sitting there watching the stuff this is nonsense bro this is the stuff that's happening inside the church seriously this is i would never in my life kick a holy bible i would bro i don't i feel bad when my bible be on the floor my bible would, like you know sometimes i like you know uh put my bible off my desk and i like lay it down i don't even like laying it on the floor i need to lay it somewhere where it can sit up I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the Bible is holy. It's a holy Bible for a reason. It's not a just a it's not just a Bible. It's a holy Bible. The scriptures are holy. Things in there is holy. This is the living Bible. This is the living word. Why are we treating it like trash? Why are we treating it like trash? This was very unacceptable, bro. Very unacceptable for you to kick a holy Bible, bro. Look at some of these comments. Why do they think this is okay? They will receive judgment. This is distressful. I am I'm not even Christian. Bro, people that's not even Christian feel some type of way about this my heart just felt like it was stabbed nah this is actually insane whatever the whatever the case may leave up to uh whatever the case may leave it up to, whatever the case may leave it up to the lord he will bring okay i get what they were trying to say but man fix your writing man fix your typing uh i will have walked out of their rebuking not even religious but this is outrageous bro people that's not even christian feel some type of way about that that's how you know i'm not just an uptight this is ridiculous this is ridiculous they wouldn't do this to the quran they wouldn't do this to no other type of book no other religious book they wouldn't do this to but they doing it to the holy bible christians at that are doing this to the holy bible y'all need to do better in the church for real the bible is going the bible warned us that it's going to be false prophets that rise up in the last days that that rise up in the last days they're going to see so many people bro and it's these christians it's these christians that's literally wolves in sheep clothing bro they're wolves in sheep clothing because look at their actions. The Bible tells that you know a person by the fruits, you know a tree by the fruit that they bear. 
These people are not showing the fruits of the Holy Spirit. These people are just showing whatever it is that they want to show, but they're not showing the fruits of the Holy Spirit. They want to be more like the world than more like Jesus. That's what they want to do. They want to be just like the world instead of being like Jesus. We need to be like Jesus and not the world. Jesus is our example. He is our, this is the one that we follow after. We don't follow after culture. Culture wants you to do this. Culture wants you to do that. But guess what? Jesus said, do this. That's why we need to read the word. That's why we can't just depend on our pastor and what they say. We have to go into the scriptures ourselves because the scriptures are holy and the scriptures won't lie. Our pastors will lie, but the scripture won't lie. That's why we need a personal a relationship and a personal foundation with Jesus Christ ourselves. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I, I I could go on and on, but I wanted to play this video right here because this was beautiful. This was a man that basically explained so well on how Jesus is God to a Muslim. I just wanted to watch this because I thought it would be pretty dope to watch with y'all. So whatever I do, I get it. No one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So that clearly shows the Son cannot be God, because that's like having a square circle. Either yeah. you know or you don't know. So when we go back to Jesus' example, where we see where he's literally laying out detail by detail sure. everything that's happening. And then he says that the Son doesn't know the hour, or the angels, nor no man. He's not saying that he himself is ignorant of the day. But he's saying that it's not for him to make known to them. It's not for him to declare. There's an example of this. Go to Acts chapter 1. Uh, Acts chapter 1, verse 7. And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. So notice how he doesn't say it's not for us to know. Or he doesn't say he doesn't stop. Please pay attention to the context. Don't, don't, don't jump. So no, so why doesn't he say, I told you guys already, I don't know. Okay. But instead he answers and says, it's not for you to know the times that the, uh, the father has fixed. He compares it to a Jewish wedding in chapters previous to this. And according to tradition in the Jewish wedding, it's the father that announces the day of the wedding. It's not the, bro the groom or the bride. The, yes, they know. But they're not the one that makes it known. They're not the one who declares it. So this is the point. The point is, it's not a point of ignorance, but it's a point of declaration. He broke that down so well. Okay, he broke that junk down so well. Because a lot of people, they have these questions on how Jesus is God. A lot of people don't believe that Jesus is God, especially the Muslim culture. They don't believe Jesus is God. They don't believe he's the Son of God. They don't believe none of that because none of it makes sense to them. And it's okay that it don't make sense. Okay, but they, some of them are not even willing to know. Okay, you can prove... So you can prove to them that Jesus is God and they still won't know. Certain things, the cross is going to sound foolish to those who are headed for destruction. They're so tied up in their religions and their religion that they don't even want to know the truth. Bro, I had somebody who, oh, I didn't have somebody, but I seen someone who was a Muslim and the guy asked him, he said, if you found out that Jesus was the truth, would you convert to Jesus Christ? He said, no. He said, once you're a Muslim, you stay Muslim. And I was like, wow. So you would rather burn in hell rather than no truth. And this is why I, I showed that video because a lot of people don't even know this scripture right here, Philippians chapter two, verse seven, uh, well, actually it's Philippians chapter two, verse six, and we'll read down to seven. But right here it says, though he was God, speaking of Jesus, though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges he took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being when he appeared in human form. He beat, uh, what is, oh, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on the cross. I know that this video went from talking about a football and no kicking a Bible to talking about this. I just want to talk about two and one. Okay. So just enjoy the video. Okay. But anyways, that scripture right there breaks down perfectly on how Jesus is God. But a lot of people don't know a lot of people don't even know that scripture. A lot of people will miss out on that scripture entirety. But when I look at that scripture, it looks to me that, okay, Jesus came down in human form. Why did he come down in human form? Why did, why did God come down in human form? Because he wanted to go through what we went through. Also, we needed us. We needed a, 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 a perfect blood sacrifice to, to, so that we can be forgiven for our sins. We needed a perfect blood sacrifice because if you think about it in the biblical days, guess what they had to do? They had to kill animals. They had to get his blood. That, that's how they was forgiven. That's how they, you know, that's, that's how they asked for their forgiveness for the, uh, from God. But now 
that we have that perfect blood that took care of everyone's sin, all humanity's sins. Now we can just believe in his son, Jesus Christ, and we will be saved. We will be saved by believing in his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus gave up his divine privileges. A lot of stuff Jesus could have just, boom, 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 boom. But no, he gave up his divine privileges so that way he could be like, us he can be equal like us he can go through the pain that's why we can go to god about anything because he went through the pain that we went through he suffered the way that we suffer he did all these different things the way that what we're going through on earth he went through he know how it feels to have your heart broken he know how it feels to be betrayed he know how it feels to do all these different things that's why we could come to him and ask for repentance that's why we could come to him and, and be in a true relationship with him and say look God, I'm struggling. God, I'm hurt. God, I'm stressed. Why did they do this to me? He can help you with your unforgiveness. He can help you with all these different things, but you have to be willing to give it up to him. You see what I'm saying? It's like people don't want to know. People don't even want to know the truth. They just think Jesus is this, Jesus is that. But if you really read the Bible entirety, Jesus is about love. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, just like a regular father, like your earthly father, your earthly father loves you, but his wrath will come upon you when you disobey him, when you dis when you are a disobedient child. We're disobedient to God, but he still show grace and mercy to us. He still have that love for us. He still, you know, he give us he give us the benefit of the doubt a lot of times. And what I mean by the benefit of the doubt is that as soon as you sin, he's not striking you down like that. You know what I'm saying? Some people. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times I done sins a lot and God still have that grace and mercy over my life to the point where I get a second chance. I get a second chance. I've been living for 21 years. If you've been living longer than me, you should be blessed. A lot of people don't even make it to 60, 70, 80, 90 years old. So you should be blessed. You should be praising the Lord that you was able to make it to an older age and able to see other generations grow. You know what I'm saying? You should be blessed. I don't know what this video come coming to. I, I really don't. I, I don't even know. I'm just allowing the spirit to be moved because honestly, I was supposed to talk about how Jesus God. I went into a whole thing about good news and everything like that. So I don't know. I don't know, but God, God is definitely going to move through this video. You know what I'm saying? I just hope that this video helps someone. First of all, like I said, with the church, y'all need to do better. Kicking up a holy Bible, that, nah, nah, you're, you're done for with that. That, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that was just outrageous. And then not only that, with the whole Jesus is God, like I said, Jesus is God. The Bible tells us, also in the Bible, Jesus said that me and the Father are one. What does that tell you? You know what I'm saying? When you think of, you, you say that also it's different gods. No, it's not. It's one God, but it's three in one. Look at us. We're three in one, aren't we? And the, in, the be, in the beginning, God said, let us make man like us. Let us make man in our image like us. That's three in one. You got God the Father, Jesus the Son, Holy Spirit. Look at us. We are flesh, spirit, soul. Everyone has every piece. Everyone has a flesh. Everyone has a spirit. Everyone has a soul. We're three in one also. If my spirit leaves and I place it into another person, it's still my spirit. It's still me. That is still me moving in that person. Your spirit has to be able to, if your spirit leaves a body on this earthly realm, on this physical realm, it has to go into another body in order to be functional. Man, I could go. Man, I could, man, I be doing sermons on this channel, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. I love y'all, man. Y'all hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I hope this video did some type of knowledge for y'all. I don't know. I, I don't know where the video went to, okay? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm still going to upload it because I believe this video can help someone out to know about how Jesus is God, okay? Anyways, I love y'all, man. Uh, I hope you guys have a blessed rest of y'all day. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. <sighs>